Hey everybody, CryptoMentor99. Just doing a quick video. We're going to see my in-laws, bring them some food, talk to them at the window because of the virus, you can't go into the uh, the senior living facility. Um, I gave the 30-day notice to the administrator the other day. So we're, we've got late August earmarked to having my in-laws move in while I move into my basement with Mrs. Crypto Mentor 99, my bride of 40 years. So quick little video, this is financial advice. This is free financial advice. And you could think I'm kidding or you could think I'm not kidding. Um, I was thinking about a friend of mine who's become a, he wasn't a friend at one point we met and then we became friends. And I met this gentleman, gosh, was I in my mid thirties? So we've been friends over 30 years and I don't see a lot of them. Um, but he said a couple of sentences to me 30 years ago that are starting to come true now. That's why I want to share it. I want to share this. So my friend who will remain nameless, high net worth individual, he was a high net worth guy in his early 30s. I'll just leave it at that. Um, whenever I would meet with him, you know, for like breakfast or lunch or just kind of getting together, he never seemed stressed out. He never seemed in a hurry. He always had a calm, C-A-L-M, a calm demeanor. Nothing really distracted him. You know, married, children. And I said to him one time, and this, this wasn't, he wasn't a fake or a phony back then, but he seemed to have like everything under control. He wasn't like running here, taking phone calls, texting, just his life was very calm, C-A-L-M. And I remember, and I wrote this down in my journal this morning. I've got journals. I've got like 50 of these in my basement. I just journal every day, write down a few thoughts. And one time I said, I said to him, I don't want to use his name. I said, so-and-so, I'll just use Ralph. I said, Ralph, like, what is it about your life? I said, help me understand why you're rarely stressed. You're never in a hurry. You know, you're never on your phone. You're never distracted. And, and again, I'm being totally serious. This is free financial advice. Or maybe it's life advice. But he said, Crypto Mentor 99, only kidding. He said, I consciously positioned myself and ultimately my lifestyle and his business not to overschedule. And that was before I knew he was a high net worth individual and what he was really saying. So over the decades, I've got 30 years with this guy. Over the decades, I could say now, what he meant back then. And the last time I had lunch with him was like, this is August, was probably, we ate at that Mexican restaurant. Um, maybe October of 2019. He comes through town every so often, but he's busy building his empire or maintaining his real estate empire. But he, he what he basically meant is, I made a conscious decision as a young man to financially position myself so as the years went by and I got older, I wouldn't succumb to the unimportant and mundane occurrences that life throws at us daily, weekly, monthly. And he's in a financial position where the little things do not bother him. Does that make sense? So, my question to you is, number one, are you, with cryptos, obviously, are you trying to position yourself like my friend did 30-some years ago? Are you consciously trying to position yourself with a great crypto portfolio to benefit you, your family, and your lifestyle? 
And how are you doing it? I'd like to know. Anyhow, that's the word of the day. That's powerful. How are you positioning yourself to step into your new future when crypto starts to go off the chart? Anyhow, that's it for this morning. Crypto Mentor 99, thanks for being part of my crypto family. I have never been more serious of the five minutes that I just spoke right now. Love y'all. And uh, yeah, we'll be in touch. Bye-bye.